guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created this makeup look right here I'm super obsessed with this look today it took a lot of time a lot of patience a lot of precision so let's appreciate her for a second okay the blend on this is incredible like not to toot my own horn but girl too too like I did that I'm so in love with this look this is probably one of my favorite looks that I've ever created I'm so proud of this one you guys like I am like I can't believe that I created this like I did that love it so to create this look today I'm using the new Lorac Circus Tent palette this is what the palette looks like I am so excited about this palette you guys first of all the packaging is super beautiful the lettering on here is holographic so as you turn the palette it kind of like shifts different colors so this is what the palette looks like inside it is gorgeous and it's a colorful eyeshadow palette are you surprised probably not because you guys know i love me some colorful eyeshadows so for today's look i wanted to play with the more like orange and yellows and the black eyeshadow i feel like looking at this palette i wanted to really use the pinks and the purples but i decided you know what let's do colors that i haven't done on my channel in a while so i decided to create this look today which oh my gosh I'm obsessed with so we're gonna be using that palette I hope you guys are excited to see how I created this look because I'm excited to show you guys how I created it so we're gonna go ahead and jump into today's video before we jump in don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it if you like this makeup look don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys have not already and of course if you guys would like to see how I created this makeup look today then just keep on watching <music> we're going to start off by prepping my eyelids. So I'm going to be using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Number 2. This base is perfect for a look like this. If you're doing colorful looks, if you're doing even regular eyeshadow looks, this base is amazing. So I usually put on a generous layer of this on a regular basis, but today I'm putting on a bit extra because I need to be able to pull this base all the way out towards my temple because as you guys saw by the intro, this look is going pretty far out. So you want to make sure everything is nice and primed. And for today's look, we're using the new Laurent the circus tent palette this palette is so beautiful you guys and I'm so happy to have it in my collection so I just want to give you guys a heads up I'm showing you a few shades but then I completely forget about it because I get so into the look so I'm gonna be telling you guys what colors I'm using but I'm not gonna be showing them all so the first color I'm dipping into is this shade right here this is called animal and it's a super bright orange but it has a lot of red in it as you guys can see when I'm applying it to the inner part of the crease it looks more red than it does orange but that's okay I'm gonna be taking a different color so that that way we can make it look more orange but basically what I'm doing is working on that inner part of the crease first so I'm basically adding on that shade and really packing it on to get as much intensity as possible and then to give it more of an orange hue I'm gonna be going into this shade right here called giggles it is a true orange you guys it's such a beautiful shade it's more of like a tangerine orange and I'm gonna use this on a tiny but fluffy brush and I'm gonna start to diffuse the shade animal because like I said that shade has just too much red in it and I wanted it to be more orange so I did that really quickly and I did build the intensity quite a bit and then I did take two yellow eyeshadows as well and they're called bananas and cirque and they're really beautiful too so I started off with the orangey red then I went in with the lighter orange and then I went in with the yellows just because I wanted everything to look really nice and diffused and I did go back in with the shade animal just to re-intensify so that way everything looks really beautiful and really blended we just want this to look as seamless as possible so after that I did want to add some intensity so I did go in with the shade of top hat which is the matte black in the palette and that was basically it like I said you don't have to worry about the fallout on the lid because we're gonna clean that up right now and to do that I'm gonna be using a q-tip and I'm just using some Garnier micellar water on the q-tip itself to create the shape of this cut crease or inner cut crease I should call it so I did that really quickly and kind of created the shape. This is such a great method if you guys struggle with cut creases. It's just, girl, it's a lifesaver, I'm telling you. So I did decide to do the cut crease off camera because honestly, you guys see me do it all the time. So I went ahead and added a blank canvas to my entire lid because it does self-set. But at first, it is super tacky, which is amazing because it's going to act like glue for our black shadow. So I'm going back in with the shade Top Hat from the palette. And I'm taking, this is actually a paintbrush from Michaels. Someone asked me, where's Michaels? Michaels is like a craft store, you guys. So like if you have a craft store where you live, 
this is just a regular typical paintbrush. You can also get them on Amazon. You can find them anywhere. They're super inexpensive and they work really great for makeup. So what I'm doing is starting to create that black kind of like cut crease like double cut crease but then I stopped for a second because I decided to create the wing first so to create the wing I'm using this tiny blending brush and I'm just dragging the shadow out towards my temple not doing this super neatly not doing it too like you know like you don't have to be too precise with this because we're going to clean it up in a second and it's going to make a world of a difference so I started off with the shade animal and now I'm using the shade giggles and I'm just piling the shadows on top of one another just to make sure that everything looks nice and blended just like we did on the top part of that cut crease so after I kind of sort of created the wing shape and I can get an idea of exactly where it's going to be laid out now I can finish actually carving out that black shadow so this took quite a bit of time because like I said I'm using a paintbrush so probably using an eyeliner brush and using an actual gel liner to create like that cut out black crease that probably would have been 10 times easier but I wanted to stick to this eyeshadow palette only so once I went ahead and created that black cut crease now we're gonna start to connect the orange to the black so this is the part of the eye look where it's just all about blending so I wanted to see kind of get the bigger picture so I decided to completely clean up that outer part of the eye and create that really sharp wing because at this point I was like okay where am I going with this like it was just a little bit too all over the place and this is how I work I know this is like girl you're doing one thing then you're jumping to the next thing then you're jumping back to what you were doing before and that is how my brain works when it comes to makeup so I apologize if it's a little bit confusing um, but I cleaned that up really quickly and now that I can actually see the shape we can just work on the blend so I'm starting off with the shade animal again and I'm also blending that into to the black because you do not want to have a harsh line so you want to make sure that everything is nice and blended and then I'm gonna go into the shade giggles as well and I'm taking that right over the shade animal which was like that red orange color and then of course you want to make sure that black is nice and pigmented and honestly you guys I just continued doing the same exact process just adding the colors onto each other until I was pretty happy with the blend and you were able to see every single color that I used and nothing looked muddy so what I'm gonna do next is take a face powder this is the Rimmel stay matte powder in the shade sandstorm and I'm just gonna use this to set that negative space that we've created just because I didn't want it to crease and like I said blank canvas pretty much sets itself um, but just to be safe because girl this looks like forever so we don't want no mistakes so now I'm gonna go in with this pigment this is in the shade I mean this is from I am I and I'm gonna be using this right in that negative space because it was just looking a little bit too awkward I felt like it needed a little bit of pizzazz so I honestly just took a little bit of water and I added that to the brush and then I dipped the brush inside the pigment and I applied it that way super simple and easy and the reflection on this is incredible so I also decided to go in with this elf eye glitter which the name for this will be down below as well and I added this right over that pigment because I wanted something that had a little bit more of a little like chunky glitters and the pigment is very finely milled so this gave me that effect I was looking for and then I went back in with the shades Cirque and Bananas and kind of just blended out that yellow a little bit more and blended it into that glitter just because I didn't want it to just look like a awkward white glitter I wanted it to look really nice and blended so I did that really quickly and after that now I can go back in and I just started to perfect everything so now you can see exactly what the eye look is going to look like at this point and now if you needed to perfect anything and now would be the time to do it so after everything was completed I went ahead and added some lashes these are B Bella lashes in the style Sasha and now we can move on to the face makeup so for primer, I'm going to be first using my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. This is an amazing primer, especially for the colder months. And then I'm going to be using this one. This is from Lottie London. This is the Illuminating Coconut Primer. I got mine at Ulta, and this is a really nice primer. This was the first time I was using it in today's video, and it was really beautiful. It gave your skin like an iridescent glow, but it wasn't glittery, which I love. And then for a foundation, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Foundation Stick with my NARS Sheer Glow. And I actually used this combo in my last video. And I am obsessed. It is so beautiful. So I went ahead and just blended those two together. And I'm going to be using a beauty blender to blend out my foundation. And girl, I was editing today and I'm like, ew, I've been using this beauty blender in like every single video. So I actually threw it out after this video. I will be using a different color in the next tutorial. So I went ahead and did that really quickly. And now we can finally move on to cream bronzing. For cream bronzer today, I'm going to be using the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Cream. If you guys have been on the hunt for a really good dupe for the Chanel Soleil Tan Cream Bronzer, this is your 
product. It is amazing, you guys. I use mine in the shade medium. It's almost identical formula packaging. The only thing is the scent is different, but girl, it's bomb. So for concealer, I'm going to be using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer, and I'm not using as much as I normally use, just because, I don't know, I just feel like I didn't need as much concealer for today's tutorial, so I just use very little. I put a little bit on my under eyes, my chin, and my nose, of course. So I usually blend out my chin and my nose first, so that way my under eye concealer has a chance to kind of settle a little bit, because I feel like you get the most coverage that way, and then I go ahead and blend that out. So I did that really quickly, you guys. This concealer is bomb, and I also dry it out to kind of like clean up that wing as well and then we're gonna be doing some cream blush I'm gonna be using the Fenty cream blush in the shade fuego flush this is a really beautiful like orange tangerine blush it is gorgeous and then now we can go ahead and set the face since all the cream products are on so for the under eye I'm gonna be using the collab set the stage powder this is my favorite powder ever it brightens your under eye just enough and it's also super smoothing it is just amazing and if you haven't tried it girl you need to try it so to set the rest of my face i decided to try out this powder today you guys recommended this to me this is the number seven lift and illuminate powder you guys this is supposed to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless powder and i have to say i was pretty impressed i have to try it a few more times to let you guys know how i like it and then for bronzer today i'm using the essence matte bronzing palette i've been obsessed with this it is so good and the best part is it's super affordable it is ten dollars for all four of these bronzer colors they're amazing. You can find it at Ulta. And then for blush, I'm using my Milani Baked Blush in the shade Bellissimo Bronze. It's one of my favorites. I also spoke about this blush in my must-have blushes. It is one of my go-tos, and it was perfect for today's look. And then for highlight, of course, I'm using a tried and true. This is the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in the shade Gilded Honey. For good reason. Girl, look at that bling. It's amazing. Like, it's beaming. If you like a beaming highlighter, you definitely need to try this. So I'm going to highlight literally everywhere. So my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, my forehead, like girl we like to glow over here so then i go back in with my blush brush to make sure everything is nice and blended and that's basically it so the footage for my lower lash line i don't know what happened to it but i basically just added the black into the inner corner of the eye and added a touch of black shadow to the lower lash line and then added like 10 pounds of mascara and that was it i wanted to keep the lower lash line pretty simple because we had a lot going on on the top of the eye so moving on to lips i'm using my lip liner in the shade nude number two from kkw beauty you guys see me use this lip liner all the time. It's amazing. And I would show you guys the lip liner, but it's so tiny. It's like a little tiny baby lip liner at this point. I need to get another one, but I swear it's always sold out. So girl, I'm struggling because if I finish this, like we're going to be done for. But we're going to be using the Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipstick in the shade Nakey Nakey. It is my absolute fave. And then of course, I'm going to add just a touch of Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in the shade I'm Nude. You guys know this is my lip combo all the time because it is the perfect nude for me. I love it. So I went ahead and applied that, blended out with a brush, but I still felt like something was missing. By the way, my lips are moving because I was like singing to a song. Girl, I'd be really into it when I'm filming. Um, so I decided to take the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Zero. It's a pure white base. And I took the slightest bit and just added it to the inner part of the lip. So right in the center. It was perfect. I went back in with some lip liner and the lip was complete. So for setting spray, I'm going to be using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist. You guys want to make sure you shake this baby up really well because the liquid in here does separate. So I gave it a good shake and then of course drenched my face in this setting spray. It's a really great setting spray if you guys like more of like a glow from within kind of look. It gives you a really beautiful radiance to your skin, but it's not oily and it doesn't make me oily throughout the day, which is amazing. So I went ahead and dried it down with my Batty B fan and that basically completes today's makeup look. So here's the finished look. I decided to get a little bit up close and personal because this was definitely challenging, but I always love a challenge and I definitely exceeded my own expectations with this look. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed it. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!